Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm putting these pictures back up here because I know she hates it, so I'm doing it again. But listen to me, you guys. We need to have a serious talk because this one and this one, oof, sorry. Sorry about all the bad pictures. This one and this one are unhinged and all hell's breaking loose and we just need to talk about it. But here to talk about it with us is my favorite unhinged person that I live with. <laughs> Say hello. I have plenty of hinges. They call me the door. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. You can find me on YouTube and Twitch saying things about stuff. But now I'm here today to say things about other stuff which are some very, very interesting photos I see flying by. Yeah. You ever read anything that gets you so good and pissed off that you just want to talk to your friends about it? Well, that's what happens. So buckle up, friends. We got to talk. P.S. When I was putting this together, I found this picture. It's one of my new favorite pictures. I love William, Prince William, so very much. And the look he's giving... Hank of Hank and Skank is priceless. This is the look we all want to give Hank of Hank and Skank. What am I pissed off about? Oh, I'll feed you, baby birds. Don't worry. <laughs> we have lots to talk about. All right. So you know how this one communicates through People Magazine? Don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, contrary, you do. Remember that five friends bullshit she pulled forever ago through People Magazine? Yeah, she still talks to People Magazine. Want proof? Don't worry. I've got it. Here we go. All right, People Magazine, what a joke, reports Meghan Markle has moved on from the royals. She doesn't want anything to do with it. Exclusive, you guys. When I saw this headline, I quit reporting on People Magazine. I don't even use them as a source because they are not a source. They are Meghan's mouthpiece, as is Omid. When I saw the title of this article pop up, I was like, no, no, we got to talk about this because this is some bullshit and it gets real bullshitty. I was trying to think of a better word. I got nothing. Go with that. Bullshitty it is. And we're going to talk about it. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. Megan's moved on for the Royals. Okay. First of all, no, 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 no. It's the other way around. We've moved on from her. But she's doing that thing where if she thinks she says it out loud, it's got to be true, right? Unbelievable. Hey, Maggie Poo, if you moved on, then why do you insist on titles? Why do you make corrections so articles will use your titles? Why did you throw a stink about your kids and titles? Why did you call the entire family the ist words and accuse them of not giving your kid titles based on the color of their skin? Why are you and your jackass husband doing faux royal tours if you've moved on? Why are you wearing poppies if you've moved on? I can go on and on, but I'm angry, so you say things. This totally reads like somebody that's not over their ex. Yes! <laughs> like, like, I'm over them, but also I can't quit talking about them. Yes! <laughs> or dropping news whenever they have news. I can't tell if she's like, if she's in that camp, you know, an ex that can't get over... You know, the, uh, the ones that rejected them. Yeah. Or, well, I don't even know. The, she rejected them, actually. So, uh -huh. it, strange. Is it that? Or does she think bad publicity is basically like Pennywise the Dancing Clown? <laughs> that if she can convince it that it's that it's wrong, that it'll just shrivel up and go away? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, I don't know what the the game plan is here. It just makes you look totally unhinged and out of touch. Yeah. It's like... I don't know, like somebody robbed a bank and they're just like, ah, uh, nah, <laughs> nah, that was, uh, no, that, wasn't me. that wasn't me. I'm over, I mean, that, that's in the past. I'm over it. It yeah. doesn't matter now. Well, I don't... That's, yeah, that's basically what Harry did. Remember they caught the, that, whatever the news person said, um, you guys just accused the royal family of being racist. He's like, no, we didn't. The press did that. No. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that goes back to the bank robbing. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, no, I didn't. Yeah. Or, or. To make even another obscure reference, like at Kids in the Hall skit, or the the guys in court, they're like, "Did you do it?" Uh, no. <laughs> and then they're oh, like, okay. but, "But we have evidence." No, I didn't. <laughs> and then it just keeps on and on like that. It's like that skit, but real life. Yes. Are you ready for the most ridiculous statements of your life? Yeah, me too. Here we go. Meghan Markle is focused on the future and her family with Prince Harry. See again with the titles. 
this is her putting this shit out here and using her titles and then saying, I've moved on. You can't have that in the same sentence. The freaking title and moved on. Nope. No, you haven't. <laughs> You're trying to convince us that things right in front of us are not true. You are gaslighting all of us. And I hate the word gaslighting, but that's what you're doing here. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I was saying. Like she keeps using the titles like that they still belong. I mean, uh-huh. I don't know how you can be a Duke of du- or Duchess of Sussex when you don't live there yeah. or, or want anything to do with it. That's just silly. They couldn't pick it out on a map. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. I- ask her to point it out on a map. Yeah. She's probably like, uh, yeah. but all that aside, like, you know, I don't, I don't want this Royal stuff yet. Uh-huh. They keep using the titles. Didn't she even like incorporate it into their home somehow? Oh yes. Yes. Thank you for that. It was their uh, doormat. They had the stupid ass logo they designed or whatever for their titles on their doormat. How do I know this? She put it out in a picture. Okay. And we are going to move on, but I just, I'm stuck on the ridiculousness of this thing. So using the title, which I will not say that one. (laughs) And then two words later saying has moved on. No, no, you haven't. In fact, there's a clip that comes to mind. I used the Tommy Boy one the other day, and now this clip comes to mind. Here you go, Megan. This one's for you. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. That's a quote from Billy Madison, one of my favorites. And for some reason, Maggie Poo, that one just popped into my head. Wonder why. Quite early on in the book writing process, some of those Megan sources that I really lent on in the earlier years this time were like, you know what? She doesn't want anything to do with it, says Scooby, who has covered the royal family for more than a decade. Like, Zoe Scoob, I think we've got a real mystery on our hands. She's saying one thing and you're saying another. <laughs> okay, first of all amazing impression didn't even know he could do that second of all this is the same bullshit we saw before with finding freedom uh oh uh, no i didn't have anything to do with that book oh uh, some shit like that and then having to go in front of the judge and apologize oh yeah i forgot i forgot i helped him with that book this is setting the stage so that way when you know us sane people call out hey that sounds a lot like megan bet she had something to do with this book too he can say oh no she doesn't want anything to do with it and i like that he's talking like he doesn't talk to her every second of every day bullshit yeah i remember you talking about that like she had to tell court oops yeah (laughs) so i did it again again. sorry i mean that's again back to the bank robbery analogy it's like like, oh i didn't i forgot i drove the car i didn't (laughs) i saw those big burlap sacks with dollar signs on them i thought it was just like you know some halloween thing i don't know ready for this part it's about to get dumber for harry it's different he still has unfinished business when it comes to his battles with the press no shit sherlock he sues everybody everybody in the press you know unless he needs the press in which case it's like hello um, but also, does this strike you all like shit she's planning now? So that way, when those two separate, it can all come back to, she was ready to move on from all this. And he just couldn't let it go. It just sounds like more victim shit, if you ask me. Oh, yes. My unfinished business. Uh, I have deep gut feelings that my phone was hacked <laughs> because the... Can you prove it, Harry? Uh, no, just a feeling. <laughs> yeah. Deep vibrations of the universe <laughs> yeah. screaming to me, hey, we're hacking your phone. <laughs> yeah. Not anything that I texted that was inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It, it's totally setting herself up to be the victim again like oh he couldn't let go yeah when it's probably her you know trying to get him the suit to bring more money in absolutely it, it's like this whole thing is just it's just a train wreck yeah and it just it's like the never-ending train it's like the yeah. cars won't quit piling up exactly that is such a good point she's trying to get him to sue to bring more money in because ridiculous expensive clothing that doesn't fit and looks awful will not buy itself Then it continues by saying his challenge will be to find something that balances that out so we can see him working in a space that isn't connected to the ties that bind from the past. 
What the actual fuck? What are we talking about? That dude doesn't know where he is at any given moment. Yeah, it seems like he wants to move on when just, what, months ago he put out a book with every (laughs) made-up or imagined grievance ever he's held against his family. So yeah, he's definitely looking to move on from that. No, he's not. Still, Meghan and Harry have kept an open line of communication with King Charles. Bullshit! And reached out to the monarch to wish him a happy birthday on Tuesday. Was that before or after they tried to hijack the news? Yeah. And then did they end the conver- the conversation with, uh, oh, uh, can we have some money? Yeah, where's my divorce <laughs> where, horse? Where's, where's, my the, horse? where's my birthday horse? <laughs> I want to ride it to Burger (laughs) Paw. Nope, not buying it. This is the crap they keep doing. See, remember the ones that are pretending like they're ready to move on? (laughs) Quite literally cannot because they are putting this story out there. We called Charles and sang happy birthday to him. The kids sang happy birthday, whatever the hell they put out there. They keep escalating this. And if it were true... You would just have a quiet phone call. If they're really ready to move on, why do they keep sticking on this point? We called him. We spoke. We're still in line of communication. Please put our name in print next to King Charles's name. It's all bullshit, and we're seeing right through you. Okay, and I promise I'm not going to read this whole article, but you just have to hear this part. You ready? Tell me the wife wrote it without telling me the wife wrote it. Here we go. With Harry, there's a reluctant acceptance that that's just who his father is. He would rather have that in his life than to cut it off completely. Oh, see, they're not the victims. They're the heroes. They're the reason that the family, what, stays together is what they're trying to say. Hence, when they talk, it is often Harry reaching out. See how they're, see what they're doing? It's like, we don't want any part of the royal family. We've moved on. And yet we're making up these stories and giving these one-sided accounts of things and still putting their name next to the kings just to stay relevant. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I was surprised to learn that even Megan had some sort of correspondence with Charles. Bullshit. Sending over photos of the children. Bullshit. You'd have to be with the children to take photos of the children. And then the scab throws out this confusing nugget. Although they're not directly to him. So there's a willingness there. What the... What are we talking about? She's sending it to somebody at the palace, she's trying to say, so Charles can see the pictures that... that, No. No, no, nobody's buying it. You're full of shit, all three of you. But again, they're making my point for me. They're trying to say we've moved on while still bashing the royal family by acting like they're the reason there's any kind of relationship with Charles. Oh my gosh, I smell burnt toast. I need to calm down. This is ridiculous. There's more to this article, but I'm not, I'm done. I'm done because it's all bullshit. Yeah, the whole purpose of this article is so confusing. Like, what are they trying to accomplish? I mean, obviously, it's the three of them in some varying degrees. But if they've moved on and they're still using titles, like, are they trying to make their own, like, separate splinter, like, royal family? Are they trying to start, like, some pseudo-monarchy in the U.S.? Uh, You've seen how those engagements go. Yeah, so many reasons why that won't work. I mean... (laughs) I thought maybe, I mean, a lot of people thought she was going to go into politics somehow, but I mean, you know, they've they've shown that they're uh, corrupt and willing to accept money, uh, but they're saying the quiet part loudly (laughs) and uh, their charity is not really helping anybody. So they're, they're saying the loud part quietly. So they've kind of got that backwards. Uh, If you want to get elected, you got to at least be liked uh, before you show the (laughs) the corporations that you're corrupt. Yeah. That's not how it works here. Get it straight. (laughs) Anyways, um, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm so confused. So I guess I'm done. (laughs) So you can find me on YouTube as well as Dr. Bad Vibes playing video games and Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks talking about insane things like Matthew McConaughey jumping off a roof and going boo. (laughs) And you can also see me stream on twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes, which simul streams to the Dr. Bad Vibes channel. So... Hit those up, whichever you prefer, and hopefully I'll see you live soon. Meanwhile, I'm going to leave you with this. Just this calming, happy picture. It makes my heart happy to see it. 
Anyway, guys, that's it for us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the love, the support, the comments. We appreciate every single one of you so much. We truly do. And I'm not done. I say I'm done. I'm not done. I'm ready to roast these three. Bring it on. <laughs> Mom is caffeinated and ready to go. <laughs> Hey, everybody who picked up Not Bloody Likely merch, thank you. I really appreciate that, and I hope you're enjoying it. I am so blown away by how much you guys seem to love it. I love it, too, and I'm so thrilled that that it, the response has been what it has. So thank you, and that's still available, so check that out. And, of course, if you want to further support the show, we have bonus content, extra deep dives, all the things over at Patreon. Patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. You can become an executive producer, much like the lovely ladies and gents you see on the screen here in front of you. We just do, I do extra stuff over there. Sometimes it's behind the scenes stuff. Sometimes it's like extra content or I get a like even more unhinged than I do over here. Uh, all the things. So I have a lot of fun over there. It's a great group. Definitely check that out, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Thank you guys for everything. Of course, as three, <laughs> as these three idiots continue to do dumb stuff, you know I will be talking about it. In the meantime, I hope you have the best day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>